Hello and thank you for joining gapsfix.com, fix your Google Apps today. In today's lesson we will see how we can rename users in Google Apps. So what's our agenda for today? In next few minutes we will be discussing what can be renamed when you rename a user in Google Apps, effects of renaming a user that will include pros as well as cons, and at last we will see a live user renaming. So what can be renamed when you plan to rename a user in Google Apps? You can rename first and or last name of your user. You can rename the email address such as if you have a user A at the rate your domain dot com that can be renamed as user B at the rate your domain dot com. And you can even rename the domain of the user in case if you have multiple domain environment. So let's say if you have domain A and domain B configured in your Google Apps and if you plan to rename user A at domain A.com to user A at the rate domain B.com you can also do that. Now what are the effects of renaming? The benefits are you can get the desired email address your old email address will be retained as a nickname or alias to ensure in case if someone sends an email to your old email address that can also be delivered to your new mailbox your old data such as email documents calendar etc will also be retained so you're not going to lose any data but there are a couple of things which you need to make sure of which we are going to discuss in our next slide and it's a very easy process you just need to do a couple of clicks to rename your user renaming happens immediately however in some cases it might take up to 10 minutes now what are the things which you need to consider before planning to rename your user? Google Talk, which is also called Gtalk, will lose all remembered chat invitations of your old username once you rename your user. The user may not be able to chat for three days after renaming. Now this is as per the documentation Google provides, but as per my individual experience, I haven't seen this issue. Chat with all user will not be allowed. Calendar events created before renaming will still show the old email address. However, once you rename and you create new calendar events that will be reflecting your new email address. Both usernames, old and the new one, will be displayed in auto completion because the old one is now an alias ID to the new email address. So now let's go ahead and rename a user in Google Apps. Now to rename our users, we need to go to Google Apps Control Panel. So in case if you don't know how to do that, you are recommended to watch our other tutorials to understand your login options to Google Apps. Once you are on Google Apps control panel, you will see a lot of options here. But for our task of user renaming, we will be clicking on Organization and Users tab. Once you click on it, you will be landing to a place where you will see all your users. Now we need to select the user whom we plan to rename. In our example, we will be renaming this old user to a new one. So we will select this user by clicking this checkbox in front of the user. Then we will click on this more actions drop down. We will select rename user. And Google will now give you some warnings which we have already discussed these are the effects of renaming process now it's time to provide details of our new user such as users new display name you can change users email address 
and you can even change the domain name in case if you have configured more than one domain in your Google Apps and just click on rename user once you are done and congratulations you have just renamed your first user in Google Apps